It's only 6.30 on a Thursday night, yet this pub, Amazing Brewing Company, is swarming with customers. That's because it has emerged as one of the hottest places for local consumers whose demand for craft beer has skyrocketed. I feel like I'm drinking real beer. It's softer to swallow, and I like the atmosphere of this pub. It's my first time trying craft beer. It's nice and has a fruity flavor. I like that there is so much diversity. Selling over 50 different varieties, with about 20 developed with their own unique recipes, the beer joint says their vast selection of beverages is their main competitive advantage. They brew different flavors every morning at their very own microbrewery that's right next to the pub. Today's selection is called Jaeger Brown, an American-style brown ale. In fact, Amazing Brewing Company became so popular that it has already opened its fourth store in June since opening their first pub in April last year. We're making these beers with an artisan spirit. When it comes to craft beer, it requires originality, diversity and craftsmanship to make it delicious. Our goal is to grow into one of Korea's leading beer companies that can compete with OB or Height in the future. According to the Korea Microbrewery Association, the company is just one of some 70 smaller breweries in Korea as of 2016, having expanded significantly from what was just one back in 2002. Domestic consumers are much more accepting of craft beer than before. Even though they are a lot more expensive than beers produced by large beverage firms, there is little resistance to price. Moreover, the Korean government is working to reduce taxes for these smaller breweries. I think in many facets, Korea's craft beer market will continue to increase. Korea's market for handcrafted brews is currently worth about $17.4 million. It's still quite small compared to the $4 billion beer market in Korea, but it's showing roughly a 100% growth annually. In 10 years, the country's craft beer market is projected to grow to be worth as much as $1.7 billion, propelled by active investments from global venture capitalist firms. Riding the high tide of Korea's booming craft beer market, is another small brewer by the name of Bain Creek Brewing Company, located in Taechon, Chungcheongbuk-do province. Jumping into the scene after ending his two-decade-long career as an IT specialist, CEO Hong Sung-tae says he saw a lot of potential in the market, which also led him to run the country's largest hop farm, covering an area of 20,000 square meters. Only, he's in it together with the villagers. Hong says after about a seven-week brewing process, the Belgian-Korean salty beer is then distributed around the nation and sold at as high as $21 per bottle. He adds that other small and mid-sized breweries are also showing interest in using his hops to create their own products. All the barley used to make beer is imported, along with the hops. But we can at least say the hops are made in Korea and use that to our marketing advantage. I think other brewing companies think this is a good marketing strategy. Plus, the beers taste better. They are gladly willing to purchase our hops and give it a try. Outbound shipments of his handcrafted beer is also a major itinerary on his future plans. In fact, experts say given Korea's advanced brewing technology, there's plenty of room for small brewers to be highly competitive on the global stage as a more favorable environment for microbreweries continue to take shape. Lee Ju-young, Business Daily.